For a lot of people, Yellowstone Season 5 is a mixed bag. People are starting to get tired of the same narrative that's been spewed since Season 1. Protect the ranch from the wolves who want to take it away from the family. Even I, who has pretty much loved all of Taylor Sheridan's work, from his movies to his spinoffs to the overall brilliant writing of Yellowstone. But today, I'm not here to cheerlead for Taylor Sheridan's art. Right now, I want to talk about Yellowstone Season 5. A lot of people will say that they don't like the direction this show is currently heading in. And I don't blame them. In previous seasons, Yellowstone was the show to watch. The show that all of America was watching at one point. And it pains me to see it come under fire. Personally, I like Season 5. It's not great, but it's not awful either. Season 4 was pretty good and left us wondering what Casey saw in his vision, and we finally got an answer in the mid-season finale. I don't really like how Sheridan gave it to us though. I mean, yeah, I'm glad we got some type of clarity about that season 4 finale. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I wasn't really satisfied with how it was delivered. It feels like it was shoved in there because Sheridan didn't know what to do with it. I love the beauty of Montana. And by golly, there are a ton of shots showing us the scenery. Maybe a bit too much. This season has been filled with cool mountain rain shots and cowboy montages. And yes, I really do appreciate that Taylor Sheridan isn't afraid of showing us that cowboy lifestyle. Season 5 is filled with those types of scenes. Really just feels like Taylor Sheridan doesn't really know where to go with this show. The only real interesting parts of Season 5 is when Jamie is on screen. But not in a good way. I love Jamie. I made a whole video clearing his name and giving him a second chance. So it really pains me when I watch him be written as the bad guy again. When we literally just went through that. <laughs> One time is funny, two times is f***ing annoying, no? It feels that not only the fans of Yellowstone hate Jamie, but I think Taylor Sheridan also just hates Jamie. I was really hoping for a Jamie redemption arc this season, but... It seems that we're not getting that. I mean, you already set up an antagonist for the Dutton family in season four. Why are you making Jamie the bad guy again? Beth is one of my favorite characters in the show, but constantly showing us how crazy she is isn't really doing much anymore. There are times in this season where things really get good, but then they're wrapped up within an episode. In the mid-season finale, we also got a return of Jimmy Herdstrom and Emily, but this really has no weight to it. Like, why are you showing me this? It really just felt like a teaser for the 4 Sixes show that we're supposed to be getting sometime this year. It feels like Taylor Sheridan is running out of ideas. Like, I could care less about Carter's love interest. Why are you shoving this into my face? Please, stop. Although Yellowstone is in a rough place right now, I have faith that the rest of Season 5, when it returns in 6 months, will be pretty solid for the most part. You have to think about this logically. Taylor Sheridan is a brilliant writer. He's already fully written the show, and already has it mapped out on its conclusion. Season 5 still has 8 more episodes to go. A lot of fans have been saying this season has been really slow and dull. And yes, it has. But I've got a feeling that Taylor Sheridan has something big planned. But as of right now, that's what it feels like filler. And with the slowness and the drug out montages and country music, right now, Yellowstone Season 5 is a mess.